Welcome back, everyone, to Larkus, also known as Larkum, also known as Bitch. So, let's get back to it, shall we? We left off getting the incubator, and I said I'd reforge it off camera. It's too bad that literally once I'm done recording, I usually render. It's either either I play for longer, or I usually go render next. Should we just demonic? No, ruthless. We can get a ruthless. But we're going to be making a bunch of weapons this episode. Because we're actually going to be progressing a little bit here. I think we're going to go right up before Moon Lord. Right up till Moon Lord. Whatever bosses I need to kill, we're going to kill. Get them out of the way. So let's see here. Yeah, we... I see one more weapon from Thorium. Not summon weapon. Well, it is a summon weapon, but it's not like summoning minions weapon. It's a weapon like the incubator. That does something else. Can I get ruthless, please? 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 Murderous? So, Alright, just give me give me like 10% then. 10% damage. I'll take it and leave. Jeez, these are ass. I know you got ruthless in here somewhere. Nope. What happened to all the good ones they were giving me earlier? Uh huh. I had 208% during that demonic. There we go. We'll take that and leave. I, I wanted to go higher, but it's fine. Demonic's fine. There ain't no problem with demons, right? So, let's go ahead and... Have I shown this off? Yeah, I have Yeah, I should show this off last episode. So, let's start with the uh, terrarium stuff, alright? Let's start with that. So, let's type in terrarium. We can make terrarium. Now, the question is, how much terrarium am I going to need to make the Enigma Rift? I think, no. Is that the name of the enemies? I don't know. Enigma Rift, yeah, it is. It is called Enigma Rift. So damn, I don't think it's 146. That's before reforges. Don't tell me it's actually that low. 12. That's not that bad. That's not that bad at all. I don't know. I don't know if I got enough for 12. Dude, just, just fucking perfect. Just perfect. Oh no, we gotta make wings too. That's gonna suck. Yeah, we'll save that for the wing streams or the bonus episodes whenever I decide to do it. What is the rift staff? Is it more than 12? Am I tripping? It says 12, ancient matter manipulator. There's 12 in there. Stored ingredients, 12. I'm tripping right now. There's a spear. Oh, because it's not called a terrarium thing, it's called a rift. Why's it got a different name? Why can't it be like terrarium rift ending my staff? 146, 146, it ties right up. It ties right up. But is it stronger? I don't know. We got to test it. Who can we test it on here? Who can, can we test it on? Uh, <laughs> who can we test it on here? Atlas. We can test it out on Atlas. All right. Oh, fuck. How, how do you fight Atlas again? You need like a rock. Just a pebble. <laughs> Stone fist. I wish that's how you spawn him in. Just like find a pebble on the floor. Um, Stone. Can't make it. I definitely cannot make this. I need lizard power cells. No problem. We got li we can we got easy access to lizard power cells. Why what do I say? Like lizard? I don't know. We'll make two of them. I wanna fight Atlas twice. Pretty sure his armor. Is his armor somewhere? Not 100 on that. Seems like them without an altar. We need to turn them into the ones that do summon him with the altar. Which means we just recraft it. There you go, and now we type in fist. Boom! Hey, shout out Fisto. You know who you are. It's my fist character, Fisto. He knows who he is, cause he's I play, he knows. All right, let's put these potions in here. I don't need this anymore. These potions, like I had multiple. That well, I had aqua potions last episode, but they're obviously not here anymore. All right, let's head up. Let's do it. Nighttime, I don't know. Make that bit. Make that bit daytime. Alright, so let's summon this. Well, let's get that first. Let's get that first. I'm gonna do this with just the enigmas and see how it goes. That means y'all motherfuckers. Stop. Let's see it. Ooh, the earth is trembling. It's one of my favorite bosses from uh, Spirit Mod. Hey, chill out. I don't think he does the quaking anymore. Remember I said I was just going to do it with just them? I don't want to get my ass beat, so... <laughs> We're going to summon in everyone else. Whoa, watch out now. Alright, hold up. 
We gotta summon in the crabs. No, we gotta summon in the crabs, and then on top of the crabs, we're gonna have the spider. I don't have mana. <laughs> I can't summon in the other things. Blast them. Wait, here we go. I got mana now. Blast them. Are those my. Yo, those are my, like, ballistas and stuff. Okay, I was getting scared. I was like, hold up. Why is all this shit coming from this guy? Do I have mana? Single crab. Go. The crabs and spiders, they're doing their work in there. I see them. Well, I'm trying to stay back here. Where are my enigmas at? They're doing their thing. This isn't that bad. Oh, look at the hit right there. Alright. Let's finish them off with this. Go ahead, girls. Handle this. Handle this. Throw in the crabs. I don't even know what's going on with the outside there. There we go. He's dead. Another one. Favorite boss. I miss when he shook the screen, though. He doesn't do it anymore. Damn, maybe I have an option off that doesn't allow him to do that. Shake screen. Not allowed. I'm liking this crab staff, though. I feel like it definitely does more damage. Look at the crabs! Look at them popping shit. Look at them popping shit. So, I got say, I got bad news. I finally got a message from YouTube saying that, saying things like, are you getting less money from your videos? Uh, it's probably because they're unsuitable for advertisers. And I finally looked, and yep, it finally hit me. The unsuitable videos finally hit me. And uh, I, I'm, I'm definitely gonna go through and yeah, make them all. I uh, send them all back to you and be like, hold up, this don't make sense. Small YouTuber, my content is not even better than anyone else's. Okay, so it's, it's some of my Terry content is pretty damn good, but I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to brag. Uh, kidding, by the way, it's amazing. Uh, we got the summon stuff. Uh, something like that. Let me, let me look at everything. Everything's really good. Is this used for actual armor or is this just melee armor? It's melee armor. I'll keep it though. Uh, stop. <laughs> I keep saying it. Uh, stop. I can't control it. Uh, but yeah, I'm probably going to go through and like ask for all those videos to be reviewed. Because like, come on. Why, why, why? Everyone else is getting hit with that shit. Why am I getting hit with it suddenly, right? But we all know, we all know what it, what's going on on YouTube. It's the, like, bots and stuff. The new, like, robots they're setting up and shit. And they haven't really learned everything. The AI that automates, like, what's suitable, what's not. They haven't really learned all their shit yet, so. It's YouTube's fault. They're making themselves have more work. They gotta manually review everything now, and that's their fault. But it's all good. It's all good. None of my Terraria videos, at least from what I've seen. From the, like, first page that I've seen. There's probably, like, 30 pages. But from what I've seen, we're good. We're good. All right, Tank, I loved you, but it's time to go bye-bye. We got the Cragbound Staff, which is a century. He's going to be filling up the slot. Look how we, look at us get upgrades. Have I upgraded this? No. <laughs> and I probably won't be because we need to kill Moon Lord. All right, so there you go. Atlas is dead. Let's make some more new weapons. Shadow Orb Staff. Now, you make this from, well, let's just type it in here. Shadow Orb Staff, here it is. You make this from uh, Post Moon Lord, not Post Moon Lord, post, post Pillar stuff. So, I killed Pillars. Uh, like I said in the last episode, I killed Pillars during a live stream. So I can do a, a Moon Lord reset, which is to kill all four Pillars, get all their souls, and then quit the game before Moon Lord spawns, and then do it over again to get all the cultists and stuff, or get all the Pillars back again. So that's what I did uh, right here. Shadow Orb Staff. Let's well let's make it first before I read the description. Knights alloy. Eight of these, that's easy. And then type it in again. Orb. Ob orb. Boom. Sh damaged, hell yeah. Summons an orb of pure shadow at the target location. Right click to unleash all summon orbs toward the, the cursor location. You summon as many shadow orbs as you have maximum minion slots. Okay, interesting. I thought this thing didn't summon in minions. But I guess I'm being proven wrong now. Uh, Rifts, go ahead and go bye bye. You guys too. Sounds like I'm talking to like a fucking child or a cat when a child, child or a dog when I said go bye bye. So I can summon as many as I can. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh no, it's eleven. 
though. But I can I can do it while having my summons out, right? I can. Oh, I may have found a replacement. I may have found a replacement. I've been using the pumpkin staff less and less too. And I think we just found the replacement. I really like how we're finding like, I wouldn't say nearly exact, but very, fairly exact replacements for all my items or upgrades. Pretty good. Now if we can find something for the terror bark and then find something for this, that would be pretty amazing. I'm trying to think right now. There's another weapon we can make, but I think, uh, fuck, should we make it? What's that noise I meant? Uh, uh, I don't know if we should make it. Maybe I should. It's called the nebula or something. Like I'm fucking shortening how to spell nebula. There it is. Nebula's refre reflection. Summons a mirror image of a nebula wielder that attacks enemies. Nebula wielders occupy two minion slots. Really cool weapon. Very cool. We need a uh, Severus. That's not his name. What's his name? So high. Close enough, man. So high, Severus. Uh, Jill, all the same to me. All names that he has. Hey, what's up, man? So, hi, how you doing? <laughs> Good one, Game Raiders. Alright, let's put this away. And my boy playing Rocket League. You wanted to play Smite, but you know, I couldn't. I had to get the business done. Nebula's Reflection. Nebula. Bam. There it is. What a beauty. Oh my god. The damage is going up and up. I'm hyped. Get off of that. What do I have summoned right now? Nigglas. Alright. So I have 10 slots. That means I'm summoning 5 of these guys. I got my own army, dude. What is this? Minus 100% mana cost. Jesus. Alright. Let's, uh... Let's fight the Stardust one. They're both going to be annoying, aren't they? Yeah, let's do the Stardust one, though. Whoa. Accidentally dash there. Let's put these boys to the test. I got to sneeze, dude. Hold up. <laughs> ah! All right. Ready to go. Fuck them up. Fuck them up, boys. I'll try this. I'll test this out while I'm at it. Can I just hold it down? Oh, you can hold it down, too. Thank you. Thank you for that. Oh, and then, oh man. These are really good. I just, like, hold them out. Yeah, where the enemies at? Help over there. I heard, I heard squishy noises. What was the squishy noise? I heard squishy noises in my left ear. Summon in the boys. I'm trying to get a Draco Meyer mount. That's what I'm trying to get so we can upgrade our Basilisk mount. So I feel like Draco Meyer would be the exact upgrade uh, to our Basilisk. It does have a dash attack. The reason why I'm not using the uh, elementals, I wanna, I wanna see the full power of my summons. These elementals do tend to take up a, uh, take up some damage. Yeah, I really need mana regen potions. I gotta make sure I cop some of those before Moon Lord. But yeah, I've been uh, this summoner playthrough has been really fun because like it's been feeling like we've been directly upgrading all the time. It's felt really good. I don't think so. Summoning those orbs of that. I remember summoning them. You know what I'm saying? We got a Selenian banner. Oh shit, this was intense. This was mystic. Oh, I thought the mirror was mystic. I was like, oh shit, we got a mystic mirror. Watch out now. I got all these balls everywhere. Try me. Try me with the balls everywhere. 50 strollers. Ow, fuck. I'm right over here and I get slapped by a ball. Don't do that shit ever again. Yeah, we're not gonna start the Moon, moon Lord fight. I want to make sure we got everything we need. All the pre Moon Lord stuff we can get. Which I might have to alt tab in a second here. Just to uh, check. Check what, we were, what we're missing. I think all the all the like good calamity stuff is post Moon Lord. There might be like one thing that I might have missed. This is that axe. The axe of purity. I made that during a stream. Well, not. I can't make it yet, but I made the. I prepped for it. Like, I have everything else for it. I saw some fucking spit come out of my mouth. But, uh, yeah. Other than that, I think that's really it. We clammed We got the Sun Spirit Staff. Or the Sun God Staff. Solar Rattle. There we go. We got it. 
got the upgrade that we wanted. Awesome. All right, you guys can come back in. Y'all can come back in. Rip it up. Keep that. So that's him. You know, he doesn't even have a dash, but you know, after you run for a while, he starts gaining his little super speed. But then you switch to this guy. A little bit slower. Uh, not even. And then you dash. So, oh, where'd that speed boost come from? Where'd that speed boost? Hold up. Let's see what it says. Sounds a rideable basilisk mount. No, wait. What? <laughs> Why'd I read that one? If I read trails left behind and knockback is ignored, something that the uh, basilisk didn't do. Drake Mario also builds up stamina along for a dash every 10 seconds. Really good. I love it. Love it a lot. All right. Thank you for supporting me this whole time. Ancient Horn, you've been great to use. Is there any spirit stuff that I can use here? Like, like, I'm in a spirit summoner stuff. God damn it. Hmm. We have to craft that. Because that, that is used for upgrading this. The death wind that I never use. All right. That's nice to know. Dragon fruit. Whoa. Definitely can't make that. Alright. Put everything in there. Put everything that can go in there. Oh. Oh. What's going on here? Okay, so. I'm gonna put all these uh, Draco Meyer things. Or not Draco Meyer. Put all these banners away. I should reforge this. And I'm gonna look into what we are missing. Alright, so. Yep. Literally everything from Calamity. Is uh. Post Moon Lord. And. Yeah. I think it's everything. Everything remaining from Calamity. Unless they update and add in some new stuff. But then I'm looking at the uh, spirit mod stuff. There is Wind God's armor, which I did craft. I think I crafted it, but I never showed it off. Oop. Wind. No, I never crafted it. Huh. Can we make... We need Warshipper jeweler. Jewels. Boom. We got 16 of them. Let's make as many as we can. Cause let's make this Wind God armor. Probably not going to be as good as the Valhalla armor. But I do want to check it out. Definitely not going to be as good. Well, actually, I don't know. Let's see. How much do we need for the pants? 15? No problem. No problem. I remember getting stuff for the for the the jewels. I remember farming for jewels during a live stream. One more. Okay. And then let's make the pants. God. Boom. Alright, so... Let's see here. Increase uh, some damage by 12%. Movement speed by 10. Increase maximum minions by 2. Increase maximum minions by 1. Increase some damage by 15%. Ba -ba -ba -ba, 1, 13%. Not bad. So this is at 170. Put this on. 156. It did drop a hefty amount, but I'm guessing we did get a lot more minions. Yeah, we do get. We have four completely complete open minion slots. And we lose a lot of defense. I can't count that high, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna figure it out. What's the set bonus though? We look really cool. To say the least. Take that off. Yeah, we look very cool. Um, put that back here. Put that in there. Okay, so set bonus. Movement speed increases drastically as health wanes. Mini attacks may release a fountain of souls from hit foes. Not bad, not bad. But I'd rather keep the Valhalla. Because the defense and the extra centuries are always good. So there's the Oregon Zenith. I don't know if we have that or if we had the other Zenith. No, we didn't. So we had the other Zenith, the Black Sun. Which this was not good. Dark Sun. Not Black Sun. Um Orion Zenith. Alright, let's make it. Definitely should be able to make that. Excuse me. Orion. Orion? Am I saying that? Is it Orion? Orion? Probably Orion now that I think about it because it deals with space and stuff. Oops, my bad. Orion? Oh, oh. Tell me in the comments. Okay. Ooh, masterful. Uh. Oh, hold up. This thing. Left click to summon a bright star to shoot beams at foes above the player. Player's head. Right click to summon more unstable bright stars at the cursor's position. Beam shot out stars are capable of hitting multiple enemies. Each star takes up one minion slot. So these actually stay there. These will stay. No, they don't. What? It's not good. <laughs> Plain and simple. It's not good. It just... The fact that it 
takes up a slot and then just like vanishes. I don't want that. Yeah, whatever, just rebuy. Um, it just, it just doesn't seem good. I mean, I'll try and use it here. We'll see how good it works here. Are summoning in more? I mean, it's doing good damage. It did good damage here, but I don't want to. I don't want to use my minion slots for it. You know what I'm saying? It's there. It's there doing the damage, but it's not doing the damage that I want. You know what I'm saying? I don't. I don't actually know what I'm saying at all. I'm just saying random shit. <laughs> uh so let's get rid of the death wind we're gonna place it with a re reflection so let's figure out the loadout here this is gonna be the loadout for moon lord uh there's also an emblem from the lunatic cultist we can get i'll just look it up let's look it up in cheat sheet just to see its effects i don't want to be talking typing that in stardust m i know they're not that good actually that's pretty damn good wait didn't i get that i got that i did get that and I was thinking, like, should I use it? Right there. I got that during a live stream. I was thinking about using it over the Yuma's Pendant. Because it does do more damage. But look, we released an extra minion. I don't know. How many minions does this give us? It gives us two minions. This gives us two. But it also gives us defense. Let me reforge it. Let's get warding on it. I think this is better. I was asking in the stream. But, like... Some people said that, yeah, I should switch it. But then I was thinking about, like, I get extra DPS from the spirits coming to my aid. But is that extra DPS? Motherfucker. Is that extra DPS worth it? Is it worth it? Because it may be taking up DPS from other minions. And I don't know. Maybe it wouldn't be worth it having that extra DPS taken up. Maybe it's not even taking up extra DPS at all. I don't know. So 172... 170 obviously damage went up and we get the extra minion slots or extra we don't really i don't know you guys tell me but that's what i'm gonna go with right now just that that is what i'm gonna go with what is this a material of oh we can craft this too status cure we can craft that let's do it let us do it i should probably end off this episode boom status cure we use the the shadow flame stuff from the goblin invasion the one that like gives your minion shadow flame grand shadow flame power salt minions yeah, there you go <laughs> so let's get this to warding oh man this costs a good bit don't fuck up don't don't actually don't accidentally double reforge this costs a lot of money i'm gonna have to fight bosses stuff so reforges yeah hope you guys enjoyed this episode uh youtube just fucking me in the ass now bye bye